Oh! What's up, people that exist? My name is Dallin, and today we're playing Earthbound because it's a good game, and I always wanted to return to it. So let's do that. Uh, here. I would like the strawberry flavor, please. Oh, God. Please name him. Okay, we're gonna- it's gonna be, like, Chrono Trigger. Uh, down. Boom. Name her, too. <clears throat> her name is gonna be... What the frick is the- okay. Guess we're also doing this like Chrono Trigger. Where the freak is everything that I want? Okay. I sound like a whiny five-year-old when I said that. I mean, where's everything that I want? <laughs> Squink, name your friend. Uh, we can't fit Esteban in there, so we're just gonna we're just his name's gonna be Bon. Name another friend. Uh... Let's see, um... He's gonna be Jack. Based off of the Juicy Wee Wee character. Because that's epic. Hold up, where are the free? Name your pet. Ooh! Okay. What should I name my pet? Dog. I like dogs. Um. He's gonna be named. Oh. Uh, I don't know. This is rude. He's gonna be named freaking uh he's gonna be named I got it. It's the perfect name. Where the freak is the I? What one of the people that watches my videos probably knows what's, what's, what's going on. His name's gonna be Ringo, after my most favorite beetle. I really like the Beatles, if you didn't know. I haven't played them- I don't think I've ever played them at all in Juicy Wii, and that's actually sad. I feel bad about that. Favorite homemade food? Frickin'... I don't know... Ramen? Yeah, we're gonna do some ramen. What's your favorite thing? Um, freaking. Can I fit it? If I can fit it, I will cry. Cause yes, yes. Um, yes, I can fit it. Boston. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Yes, this is perfect. The year is 1990-something. We're gonna say it's 1996. Sounds about right. On it, a small town in Eagle Land. Sorry if you hear the freaking floorboards creaking. I'm sorry, it's an old house that I live in. Dallin's house.
Oh no, what was that? I don't think there's anything in Ness's room, so let's just go. Get in the door. A. Hey. hey, bro. Did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? <laughs> no. <laughs> I just peed myself a little. Down open the present. There's a cracked bat inside. Okay, let's equip that, because I know how to do that in this game, because I've played it before. Can I hit my little sister with the bat? Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. That was a joke. That was a joke, everybody. Gosh. Meanie heads. Hey! What was that noise? Dallin, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? My voice acting is horrible. And now you want to go check it out? Oh, okay. Just sneak out of your room anyway, even if I asked you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. Ooh, we're looking fresh. We're the fresh prince of Eagle Land. My freaking, I'm sorry, my mouse just showed up a little bit. Um, my dog. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? My dude, did you not hear the big ol' hee-ha-hoo outside? Good boy. Let's go. Here we are, in Eagle Land. Hey. I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. Well, I think if a meteorite landed in my hometown, I'd be a little freaked out too. Honor police are infamous for closing roads if something's going on. We're going for the world record. Oh my god, I forgot how funny this game is. Don't panic, it's just a... What? Meteorite that who? Fell? I just wanna what? Go home. This man is on some pot. I don't know why I said it like that. That, that made me sound like a 40 year old man. Did you hear the big bang? I think a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first one to see it, okay? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. Huh. Good luck. Frick, I'm stuck on a tree. Welcome to this game. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home pronto. No. I don't think I will. A meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. You kids are wa wandering around, and I'm, I'm hungry. I hate my job. It's dangerous to go alone. Take the oh wait, it's dangerous to go to the hill hilltop. Even if I advise you to go, not to go, it won't stop you, will it? Gosh, are kids just really mean in this neighborhood? Everybody just already expects it. Hey you, don't you know what time it is? Um, it's time for me to get a watch, actually. Idiot. It's 6-12. Stupid head. It's not actually 6-12 in the game, it's 6-12 it's, uh, it's in real life, though. Well, right now, where I live. Hey, Dallin, hiya, buddy. A meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you, whoops, I almost told you about my, uh, by the way, Dallin, did you check out my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Why don't you come into my basement so I can... Never mind. Treasure Hunter. This is... <laughs> house. That meteorite looks different than usual. It's strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. <laughs> nice timing, Dallin. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? Yeah. And you live in the house next to us, I see. Hey, idiot. Hey, Dallin. 
Don't be rubbernecking. Okay, I have to do a freaking... Don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops. Oops. I mean, officer's way. You can go home now. This accent is horrible. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. My guy. Shh, shh. Clear out, get out of my way, clear out, get out of my way, clear out, get out of my way, clear out, out of my way, get my, whoops, my mistake, I mean, get out of my way. This game is great. This game is freaking epic. Go. Yes, please. Whoa, Ness just had a mini seizure. Actually, you named him Dallin, you freaking idiot. Why are you calling him Ness? Sorry. Hi, Mommy. Welcome home, Dallin. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off the bed now. Okay. Okay, Mama. Later that night. Hmm. <clears throat> Somebody's knocking at the freaking door. And I'm about to go knock them out. By the way. Totally most white person thing to do. Totally answer the door while it's the middle of the night. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. You should never answer a door when it's, like, this late. By the way, just saying. It's probably a rapist, you know. My land! Who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you answer it? Absolutely not. Whoa. Hi, mister, let yourself in. You're kind of rude. Hey, l l l listen to what I got to say. When I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed... Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, the police that were gone from the meteorite landing lift so Oh my god. Landing lift suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know the sharks, they're the local ruffians. They were really going wild. Suddenly I noticed that Picky was gone. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? Yeah. Okay, good, buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stick. It's the most white person thing I've ever heard. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? I know the dog's under unreliable. Unreliable, oh my god. But you should take Ringo along. The crack bat in Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. I already got it. I already stole from her. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural-born fighter. You'll go far. Remember, to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. Okay, let's let's get Ringo and let's go. I would totally name my real-life dog Ringo, by the way. Oh my god! Little sister, I'm gonna crack you with this freaking bat. Come on, buddy. Want me to go with you? Yes. Guess I have no choice. Let's go. Yay. Ringo joins you. Alright, you, you go out in front and I'll follow at a safe distance. Let's get going. Yay. Yeah. Pokey joins you. Let's go. Frick. Go out the door. Oh. Phone. Down, answer the phone. Hello, it's your uncle. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're going when you're young. <sighs> Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you, one one hundred percent. Don't be afraid. Dallin can't talk ever. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventures, so I'm. Uh, know that you're not being freaking raped. Uh, I can make a record of your progress when you call me. 
Oh yeah, I deposited thirty dollars into your bank account. Oh, I'm freaking rich. Do you have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine, machine, and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. W well, the father of a hero, at least. <laughs> Slam. Beep. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go. Sorry, um, Pokey or Picky, Pokey. Uh, I had to talk to my dad real quick. Excuse me. That crow wanted a freaking fight. I knew it. Um, dog, please don't harass me for attacking another one of your, oh, another, uh, one of your species. Yeet! Okay, I thought I was actually gonna sneak up behind him. That would've been awesome. Okay, let's do this. Bop! Don't hit dogs. Just don't do it. It's not, it's not a good thing to do. If a dog's running after you, frick, climb up a tree or something, I don't know. Downs level is now two. Ah! Uh, I realize the power of life up. That means we can, we can, you know, do what the freaking name says. Oh! Epic! There's a chance for a surprise opening attack. Ringo's barking. Bop! Idiot. Eh. Oh dang, that was fast. Those crows do a lot of freaking damage though, because they peck at your eyes. Ooh, a cookie! I like that noise. Let's eat the cookie now. Wait, how do you get- okay. Maybe I don't remember how to play this game. Mmm, cookie good. <sighs> I like RPGs like this, where you can see the enemies that are about to attack you. It's not like that I don't like Final Fantasy and like Pokemon for doing stuff like that. Like, doing other stuff where it's like, just a random thing, but it is more annoying that way. It's better when you can see the enemies and maybe if you're some if you're like a kid that doesn't really like to fight stuff, you can just walk around him, maybe. Just a little ramble. I, I like this um, RPG design more where you can see what you're fighting. Like, in games like this, The Secret of Mana, uh, Chrono Trigger, that kind of stuff. Doesn't mean stuff like Final Fantasy and Pokemon is bad, though. Because those games are still really good. Oh. Good job, Ringo! Freak. Haha, <laughs> idiot! The crow's dead. Good job, Ringo. Ringo won the whole freaking fight for us. And Mom said Ringo was unreliable. <laughs> Scoff. Snick. It's a snicker, snicker, snick. I for forgot what freaking meme that was from. Anyways. I need to stop. Just, I need to just stop. Oh my god. Okay. Please. Oh my... Please. Just let me... Thank you, Ringo. Ringo saved my whole freaking life. You should owe your life to this dog. This is why dogs are good. Frick. Oh! Uh if I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. Okay, bye, Ringo. Go over and join, uh, freaking, uh, Paul. I don't know. 
What? Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you're okay at least. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Geez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. Dickie joins you. Go. Dallin! Do you hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? Yeah. Yes, you can hear it. A. It's buzz buzz. A B I am. Not. I'm from ten years in the future. And, in the future, all is devastation. Gygus, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. I am so proud of myself that I did not stutter through that sentence. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will re reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Dallin. This I believe. Gygus' monstrous, Gygus monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things are of, of the utmost importance. I don't have moisture in my throat and or mouth, so I can't freaking talk good. Wisdom, curse, courage, and friendship. The legends fall... The legends... The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeats Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Dallin. Did you listen to what I just told you? Yes. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. Stop talking, because my mouth is... <coughs> Buzz Buzz now joins you. Oh my freaking god. Dallin! Looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said. Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. Right, let's, let's freaking go. Let's go! <laughs> I can't say that. Okay. Here we go, accompanied by flying insects. Yay! Oh, freak. Ah, no. Stop getting stuck on the grass, Ness. You freaking idiot. Gosh. Oh. Oh, no. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gygus' plans. But, Buzz Buzz, you, mu you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. No, you won't, you idiot. Yay, protection! But don't yell that out publicly, kids. Just, just, just kill him. Freaking kill the stupid star man guy. Okay. Picky attacks. Picky picks at his freaking nuts. 
<laughs> okay, never mind. Oh, dang, that's a lot. That's a lot of damage. As Phil Swift would have said in this situation. Oh my god, Buzz Buzz. Just attack him, please. I'm gonna. We're gonna die. We're all gonna freaking die. He complained. Oh! I did it. It was all me. No help from anybody else. I did it. <laughs> Down gained 16 SP. Yeah. <laughs> Can't English. Woo! I was taking a big chance there. He came from 10 years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygus. As well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent. I've seen that. Due to Gygus' influence over, their, over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. Okay, you hacker! Where in Sam Hill have you boys been? I have to think of a suitable punishment. Ooh, look at Mr. Rich over here. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really gonna get it now. Pokey and Picky were never seen again. <laughs> okay. By, by the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of, I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess it, it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. My husband is w much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finished last. That's the story of your life, of our life. Ooh, it's a bee. I, I, I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts out. K.O. Fatality. Flawless victory. Stop, woman. Let me look at my dead friend. Okay. That's it. That's it. I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See? You. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gygus, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near on it. It's called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Yes. Alright, you are a very intelligent young man and... All oh, the pain! Everything is getting dark. <clears throat> Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is a soundstone. You can record the melodies from the eight your sanctuary locations into the stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. But did you want to hear the story one more time? Freak, no. Good! It's already dawn outside. But it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Ah! <gasps> No. no! Can I whack this woman with the bat? Okay. Anyways. Oh my god, I have to turn this up. You guys won't even hear it turn up. It's just... Oh, I freaking love this song so much. Oh! Oh! Okay, I'm sorry. What the frick? Oh, it's this dude. 
picture is taken in instantaneously. I'm a photograph. I'm a photographic genius, as I do, if I do say so myself. I cannot talk. Anyway, okay, get ready for instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Fuzzy pickles, you stupid freaking idiot. Well, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Okay. Hello. You're back! Don't bother wh Don't bother yourself with ta talking now. You look too tired. Mothers understand these things. Eat some ramen and scoot up to bed. Okay. <laughs> okay. That... That right there, my friends and friends and family and friends and friends and family... That's going to do it for this episode of Earthbound. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. If you did, uh, do a, a something. I don't freaking care. Uh, see you later. I'm going to do another Zelda video here in like about an hour. See you. Bye.